Hi kids, welcome to week three of Kids Church Online. I hope you've all had a great week. By now you would have all had at least one day back at school. I hope you enjoyed seeing your teachers, seeing some friends. I also hope that you had a great Mother's Day last Sunday and that you were especially kind and loving to your fantastic mothers. Okay, now last week we did the memory verse from when we were in Kids Church Demountable. This week we've got a new memory verse. I'm going to read it first and then I'm going to say it again and I'm going to miss some words and I want you to try and remember what the missing words were. Okay, let's go. Put on all of God's armour, then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. I'll say it one more time. Put on all of God's armour, then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Now's your turn to remember some of the missing words. Put on all of armour, then can remain against the devil's evil. Ephesians, verse 11. How did you go? I'm sure you all did very well. Now, during this week, I want you to have a go at memorising that verse. And to do that, you've just got to say it a few times each day. And by next Sunday, I'm sure you will all know it off by heart. Okay, before we go into our lesson for today, I wanted to show you my picture of the soldier. Now I've colored in the belt of truth and I put the label on. This week, we're going to be talking about the breastplate of righteousness. So at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to colour in your breastplate of righteousness and label it in the right place. Okay, so for our story today, you're going to help me illustrate it. So you're going to need a paper plate and a texter or a pen or a pencil. Don't worry if you don't have a paper plate, it's okay. Just get a piece of paper from mum and dad and maybe an old book that you can trace. And what you're going to be doing, you're going to be drawing with the paper plate on top of your head. Now if you don't want to do that, you can put it on your front. I'm going to give it a go drawing on the top of my head and we'll see how it turns out. Okay. In the Bible, we can read a story about a man named Gideon. And this story is found in Judges chapter 6. Gideon learned how to let God protect him and help him make the right choice. As I read this Bible story, you're going to help me illustrate it like I just mentioned before. So I'm going to give you instructions about what to draw on your plate. I'm going to do it as well. God's people, the Israelites, had disobeyed God. Because of that, he allowed their enemies to come and take over their land. Now these enemies were called the Midianites and they were very mean to the Israelites. What would you want to do if people were being mean to you? I think sometimes I might be frustrated and angry. I might even want to go and hide to get away from them. Well, when the Israelites were afraid, they hid in caves or tunnels underground. So I want you to get your plate, put it on your head and draw a cave where someone could hide. I'm going to try and draw a really big cave. Try and not draw on my head, that wouldn't be very good, would it kids? The Israelites knew they needed help, so they prayed to God. Even though the Israelites had disobeyed God, he helped them. God sent an angel to speak to an Israelite named Gideon. When the angel came to Gideon, he was preparing some of his crops while hiding in an underground cave. How hard would that be? Do you remember why Gideon would have been hiding? That's right, it's because he was afraid of the big mean Midianites. Right, now it's your turn to draw again. I want you to draw Gideon hiding in the cave on your plate. So, I don't even know if I've got my cave the right way. Does it matter? I'm going to draw Gideon. It's a stick figure, kids, because I can't draw. 
All right. The angel said to Gideon, Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. But Gideon asked why God was letting so many bad things happen if he was with them. Then the angel said, You are strong. Go and save Israel. Gideon argued. He said that his family was weak and that he was the least important member of his family. But God promised to be with Gideon and give him victory over the enemy. Was God only with Gideon or was he with you? He's definitely with you and he's with me as well. Gideon now believed that God was protecting him and would help him do the right thing. Because this was a big turning point for Gideon, I want you to all turn your plates over and draw a more brave looking Gideon. All right, how am I gonna draw my brave Gideon? Mm, I think I'm gonna have to, as long as I've got my stick figure here, I'm gonna try and draw some lovely big brave muscles. Might also look like marshmallows, we'll see. Okay, later that night, God spoke to Gideon again. So now I want you to draw a moon and stars around Gideon because that's what Gideon would have seen when he was speaking to God at night. Okay, so I'm going to draw my stars. One, two, maybe three stars. I'll draw a moon up high. Hopefully I'm not drawing on my hair. Okay. God told Gideon to tear down an altar and a pole that the people were using to worship two false gods. Then Gideon was asked by God to build an altar to God where people could come and worship. Gideon knew that doing this would make some people really mad, but he obeyed anyway because he knew it was the right thing God wanted him to do. And God was with Gideon the whole time, protecting his heart from giving in to his fears and giving him the power to do what was right. To help you remember how God protected Gideon's heart, now draw a heart on his chest. Now I've got to try and remember where I drew Gideon on my plate. I'm sure you guys are doing much better than me. So I'm doing a lovely love heart. I hope you guys have drawn a lovely heart as well. God has given us this same power too. All we have to do is suit up with the breastplate of righteousness. Now a soldier's breastplate covered him from his neck to his thighs and it protected his heart from being attacked by the enemy. Now righteousness, that's a pretty big word, but it just means doing right in God's sight. When we obey God's commands in the Bible, we are acting righteously. So when we put on the breastplate of righteousness, this is the piece of armor that God uses to protect our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing, but also it helps us have the power to do the right thing. So we have the belt of truth and now we have the breastplate of righteousness. Before we finish, I want to show you my plate. First, I'll show you the cave and my Gideon that was a little bit afraid. I can, I can be imaginative. I can actually see a cave. I can see a head. But as I turn over, it doesn't look very good, kids. Can you, I, I, I can see a love heart. I can see some stars. How did you go? Are your plates funny too? Or do I have to go back to school? Hmm. No, okay. <laughs> so kids, it's now time to get your soldier, find where the breastplate of righteousness is, color it in, label it. And do you know what? If you wanna know more about Gideon, because there's a lot more to his story, go and grab a Bible, look up Judges chapter six. Now, Ethan, Archer, even Zach, I know you guys are really good at reading. So have a go at reading the chapter yourselves. I know there are some big words, just get mum and dad to help you. So I'm really looking forward to seeing all your soldiers when we can meet back together in our great Kids Church Demountable. Have fun, have a great week at school, bye.